Ladies and gentlemen, Lori Cardoza Moore, President of Proclaiming Justice to the Nations. And I just want to send this quick video message to give you an update on our campaign, our petition to remove Ilhan Omar from the 5th Con Congressional District in Minneapolis. Um, last week, you all received this email, and, um, and many of you signed the petition on our website at pjtn.org. And over the weekend, we were inundated with, um, with text messages, with um, uh, emails, social media posts on uh, Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and emails that were being shared. I've been getting emails from many of you and posts that you all have been making on our social media pages. I want to thank you. In fact, I have run out of space. We've already filled up our uh, my Lori Cardoza Moore Facebook page. I want to encourage you, if um, you want me to friend you, please go to my public figure, Lori Cardoza Moore public figure Facebook page and sign up. Send me messages um, to add you as a friend and we'll um, continue to communicate with you. I also want to encourage you to go to um, our YouTube channel, PJTN. TV. You can see more footage there and I will be able to communicate with you. In the event that any of my social media or our YouTube page, PJTN TV, is shut down, I want to encourage you um, when you do go to PJTN.org to sign the petition, please make sure you sign up to get on our email list so that you will continue to get the updates. I expect that the more we push this out and the more we expose the the um, the subversive groups that Ilhan Omar is tied to, like the Muslim Brotherhood, like Hamas, um, CARE, um, we are probably going to end up getting shut down. So again, if you haven't signed up on the website, pjtn.org, to get on our mailing list, please do that to secure the fact that you will get more information, you will get the updates um, in the event that our social media pages are shut down. So again, um, I just want to give you an update. We have got thousands and thousands of signatures to our petition. I need, I need for you to engage with me in reaching your community. So we are going to continue to push this information out. And I need for you to take this information to your sphere of influence, whether it be your email list, your social media posts, and then we need to engage the conversation um, on these posts because the trolls are out there. They're trying to negate what we're doing um, and they're trying to justify supporting Ilhan Omar. No, ladies and gentlemen, this woman is tied to the Muslim Brotherhood, to Hamas front groups like CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations. You all remember CARE was listed as an unindicted co-conspirator in the largest terrorist fundraising operation in the history of the United States of America. They're also, um, she spoke last Thursday in Tampa, Florida at the Islamic Relief USA, another Muslim Brotherhood group that raises money for terrorists. So we, we need for you to get engaged in this battle. I need your help on the front lines. Those of you who have already been doing this, please keep up the work. We've got to have a million signatures. I want a million signatures on this petition to take it before Congress to show Congress that that an FBI investigation needs to be launched into the relationship that this woman has with these subversive groups. We already know that FBI, um, because she represents a large Somali community in Minnesota, I, I believe there's 100,000 um, uh, uh, people who live, or Somalis who live in her district, and the FBI has listed the 5th District of Minnesota which is the district that Ilhan Omar represents as the terror capital of America. Think of that, ladies and gentlemen. Think about the fact that we're sending our soldiers over to Afghanistan and Iraq and all of these Middle Eastern countries and our guys and gals are being murdered and they're also being maimed by terrorist groups and we have a city in the United States of America that the FBI terms the terror capital of America. And this is where these ISIS fighters are coming out of from these Somali immigrants. So ladies and gentlemen, it is up to we the people to secure our communities, both our Jewish communities, our Christian communities, and our um, communities across this country. It is up to we the people to take back control of our government. 
And I want to ask you again, please, if you have not signed the petition, go to pjtn.org, go to the social media pages. Remember, um, Facebook, um, my Lori Cardoza Moore um, Facebook page is already fill, filled up. You can go to Proclaiming Justice to the Nations page um, on Facebook also and sign up and post. And um, of course, you can go to my Lori Cardoza Moore public figure page if you would like for me to friend you so you continue to get these emails. So I just want to take this time to say um, you guys are awesome. You're doing a fantastic job. We're gaining momentum. Um, we're getting press, um, more media um, opportunities to speak about this issue. The momentum is growing. We have to keep it going. So God bless you and thank you for all you do on behalf of our Jewish brethren and the state of Israel. I'll see you next time. Thanks.